to the World Festival of Peace and Harmony, the biannual event that you've been watching on your tellies for the last 150 years. The contestants are all lined up and let me introduce to you the contestants. First up is the Global North, looking resplendent as always in their shirt and tie. It doesn't matter about the weather, it doesn't matter what's going on, they always are splendidly turned out. And of course, they're carrying their very proud motto of extraction, consumption and exploitation. <laughs> Next up, we have the Global South as always looking much more jovial in their brightly coloured outfits always bring a sense of fun to the proceedings despite the fact that they are constantly up against it in terms of war and poverty they always bring a sense of fun and give them a big cheer and a big round of applause everybody <laughs> And of course, last but by no means least, is the Earth itself. The thing that we all live upon. The place that gives us everything we need to sustain our easy, comfortable and plentiful lives. Take a bow, Earth. I think we're almost ready to go. This is when the nerves will be kicking in and they're just hoping for the kickoff to start. Here we go. Now of course these guys have been watching this on the telly since they were small children, dreaming that one day they would take their place in the World Festival of Peace and Harmony. And here they are, their dreams coming true. Let there be no mistake, it takes years of hard work and dedication to make something this difficult look this easy. Now we've entered the playful hitty stage of the dance and you might be asking yourself, oh that's not very hard baby, yes? But let me tell you, it's playful. It symbolises the cut and thrust of the economic markets. The idea of course is that everybody works in beautiful cooperation. We take what we need and we pay for it. So there's a mutual exchange. That's the idea, that's how our current economic system works. Let's just let the dance speak for itself for a moment. It's a be beautiful atmosphere of serenity. I'm not known for serenity myself, but even I can feel the atmosphere of peace and harmony amongst the various nations.
back to the playful hitting. Global North landed a rather severe blow there, and I thought Global South might top it for a second. from the crowd with a message everybody no profit on a dead planet and you can't really argue with that you see the global north has extracted and consumed and exploited so much from the global south that it's actually just run out there's nothing left and of course when there's nothing left for the North to exploit, then the North is going to suffer too. And of course, that's us. That's humanity. And I'm not so sure that I'm actually feeling very well myself. In fact, I'd like to go to the hospital if, if that's all right. But of course, there's no more hospitals. And so, oh, thanks for coming, everybody. People of Eastbourne, we have a giant problem. If we don't want to go the way the planets have gone, south and north, we will have to come up with a solution. Will you be part of a solution, a giant solution to the, the crisis, the climate crisis that is upon us? Will you act together? People of Eastbourne. Thank you very much. A giant solution to a giant problem. We are the crew door mechanicals. Thank you for watching us. Thank you.